All right, what's up, family? Let's talk a little bit about um, corporate audio in a few minutes or so. I'm going to show you how I uh, create corporate audio and what is corporate audio. So basically, corporate audio is um, music that is created for corporate America or any kind of corporation or any other nation, <laughs> corporate nation or corporate businesses, um, advertisement agencies, um, you name it, anything that's social media, anything that has to do with something that you're trying to promote uh, regarding your product and services. Um, they normally use this type of music because this music is much more uplifting, upbeat, uh, positive, um, um, just a motivator. You'll see this type of music being played uh, when you're working in corporate offices. And or facilities that you in your training sessions or your training classes, you'll normally see music that is being played like this. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And let's go over some cool corporate audio music for music license. See you. All right, YouTube or social media family, I am back at it again. We're about to listen. To some corporate audio. Uh, pardon me for my scratchy uh, voice. <laughs> I was a little bit under the weather, so I'm back okay now. And you know, um, of course, when it comes to the healing, you know, you get that little scratchiness going on. All right. So let's talk about corporate audio. What is corporate audio? Um, again, corporate audio is music that mostly corporations, companies, businesses, advertisement agencies use to promote their products and services along with um, motivation or motivating or training employees and so forth. All right, so they use a certain type of music and which this type of music is like a happy type of music, you know, a feel good music, a motivator, or go getter or or just something positive you know so it has to have these types of positive vibes so that's what that industry I always look for and if you notice in a lot of the songs that you hear in your advertising in the advertisement of that company uh they kind of use the similar things like with instruments you'll hear guitars bass drums um certain effects you know not too much um you may hear uh maybe a few simps and they're not as much you know but it's all about to me in my opinion i get it it's all about that guitar because with that guitar it's a guitar that's going on maybe a more like the electric guitar um mute guitar or something like that and it's it always has this delay effect on it which is at one eighth dotted note and it just give it that sound that signature sound um regarding corporate audio so what we're going to do is just go through uh some of the songs that i completed and what we what you will hear is that signature sound with the guitars there's always going to be guitars in there in there and not to say um you know you can be very creative you can actually have other elements in there as well you know different genres um you know hybrid of things you know uh, just as long as it has that happy feel now what i mean by the happy feel in order to get a sort of happy feel for music we mostly always go to the major uh chord progressions instead of minor because you know minor always represent sort of sad feel or something or scary sounds mystic or so, sort of or that sort of nature but happy it's like um, just feel good, feel good vibes. Um, just make you just want to go out. Sometimes you know, dance and you know, party feel good. That type of stuff, you know. So you want to keep your chord, your key in the major, and you want to keep it in that little happy feel. I don't know why the screen is kind of flickering. So if you see it flickering like that, don't pay any attention to it. Uh, hopefully, ho I hope my 
a lead display is not about to go out <laughs> but anyway um yeah you want to keep it in that positive uh happy major uh key so that's the uh key element to that you know um tempo varies you know usually from 120 on up so you know up, more upbeat you want to up because the purpose of that you want it to be uh, high energy, a good feeling. So most good feeling, high energy songs are mostly upbeat. They're not slow, you know. So you definitely don't want like R and B anything like that in there because mostly R and B is a little slow and sometimes uh, sad, depending on if we're talking about modern or you know '90s, '80s, whatever. So yeah, what well, you want to kind of stay away from, you know, that's just, that's not. A particular genre for this type of music um mostly what you would hear in corporate music like you know a lot of rock pop feel and you and hip-hop trap but you know it has a positive feel to it you know um things of that nature um and that's really pretty much it you know again stick to i mean you can make it in whatever key that you like just keep it in the major just to be on the safe side i always do and you know get a nice chord progression going and get your rhythm going then get your bass and then throw those guitars in there and that delay on that guitar i always like to um have a template because i know i'm going to use the guitars and i know i need that one eight uh, dotted note so i already will have that established in there so just make that part of your uh, template so you don't have to worry about keep adding that stuff on to uh reduce time and you know the efficiency of the uh, product productivity of the track. So let's go ahead and just dive on to this song. Let's just listen to what some of the corporate music may sound like. So there we have it. All right, if you notice, um, I tried to not keep it long. You want to keep it maybe about a minute and a half to uh, two minutes. It doesn't need to be really that long. And um, cool thing about it, you know, you have, it's not like a traditional um, song that you would create for artists with verse, chorus, uh, wait, verse, I mean, I'm sorry, intro, verse, chorus, then back to verse, then chorus, then back to verse, or a bridge or whatever. It's not that way. Um, you want to keep, you want to kind of always have it change. Not always, but, you know, depending on the song, but mostly 
uh, every four bars or so, change it up a little bit. When I say change it up, meaning like poss possibly, um, you know, taking out certain instruments, adding them back in or changing up the rhythm a little bit and, you know, in certain bars and then bringing back the original rhythm, you know, just be creative with it and use your, um, just use your um, creativity, um, uh, whatever, you know, and, and make it happen, you know. So if you notice, like the intro, you have the intro, intro can be, this was at eight because the intro had um, thing, other things that's coming in to lead up to the verse. So it's, that's why I say in some cases, you know, it could be eight bars or whatever. But you, usually I try to do four bars and just get to the point, you know, and then you'll you know sometimes go right into the chorus or go right into the verse or sometimes, you know, change up between the uh, the verse and, you know, at every four bars, something different that's going on, as you heard in this song here. So, um, corporate audio is very simple to make, very easy. Uh, just keep the traditional um, song format, film and TV format, which um, if I talked about. And you could, in one of my videos, you could definitely... Um, you know, see what I'm going with it, you know. So I still keep it in that film and TV uh, format. So here's, that's one song I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I have a few more we'll go through. Um, let's check out this song right here. Okay, um, so again, uh, happy feel, happy good feeling. Um, if you notice with those guitars, you hear the guitars going and you hear that delay on the guitars, but you hear that one eighth dotted note delay. So, you know, you pretty much you get your delay um, plug in on it and you set it to one eighth notes and you play it and you just get a, get the, whatever tempo you have, you get get it in time and get that groove going, you know, and you just play it. You'll, you, it took me a while to get it. And once you get that little groove, you'll, you'll feel it and it'll start merging itself in as it goes. You know, you'll definitely see that. So that's one song. Let's move on to another one.
okay, so that's it with the song. So if you notice, if you listen to these guitars, again, when I was talking about the one eight note, uh, dotted note, let me play this, this the mute guitar, let's play this. Um, I don't think I have like a plug-in or anything on this one. I think I actually used um, the, oh yeah, I did. I'm using the Sample Tank 3 actually with this one. And on the guitar, um, I just used, um, if we go here, I just used this own effects, you know, um, the own, it's own delay. And here you can see why I have the delay it. If here, you could see it here. Let me see if I can expand it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Maybe, I don't know, this version of Sample Tank 3 will allow me to um, expand it. But anyway, um, you can see right here where it says 1-8-D. That means 1-8 dotted note. So you want to always keep it on that to get that dotted, that, that sound um, in, in time. So I use the delay from that. So like, you don't really have to wait to post to do. You know you're going to need that anyway. So you can use your virtual instruments that's already have the lay-in. Just save CPU. Um, and have that record in there. When you get ready to mix, you'll have that already in there. So you're good. So that's pretty much um, it. You know, I got the drums, of course, you know, going like this. You know, usual drums. And you notice a lot of times you'll hear in a lot of corporate music, you hear like stumps that's going on. Uh, people, or not people, but you hear like vo voices that say, huh, or hey. Or, you know, in a crowd, you hear that a lot, like that motivating thing going on, or claps. You know, so that's one common thing that's used in uh, corporate audio. Just remember to stay positive and um, you'll be fine. Just go from there, you know. So um, I hope you like the video and like, subscribe and comment and tell me what you think about corporate audio. And, you know, hey, get down and start making it, creating it and get get it ready for music licenses. And you can't go wrong. All right. Hope you like it. See you guys later. I am out.